Hi everyone, Harry here to talk about a huge development that has just happened in the January 6th case. Now we've been focused already on immunity as being the big issue and I've gone through all the calculations about uh, what happens now and what does the DC circuit do and the like. And basically the Department of Justice also has gone through all these calculations and has come up with a really breathtaking um, finesse, uh, just a stunning move. While the case is pending in the Court of Appeals, which still has jurisdiction and has to decide uh, what to do with it, the Department of Justice parachuted in directly to the Supreme Court of the United States with a very unusual motion of petition for cert before judgment. Now, I know I'm getting, you know, all like agog and hot and bothered, but really in the, in the, the, uh, nuanced, fine grained world of Supreme Court practice, which now overlaps completely with Jack Smith criminal practice, which now overlaps completely with the political life of the nation. This is a stunner. And I think basically brilliant as I consider it now. Here's the um, the simple way of thinking about it. Jack Smith, who uh, is advised, among others, by very high level um, Supreme Court experts, the same guy who worked for Mueller and was the criminal deputy in the Solicitor General's office for many years, Michael Dreeben, uh, is the brains behind this job. And those are big, big brains. Uh, but they just basically decided one way or another, the court is going to be looking at this. This is the issue that will interest the court, the immunity issue. Many people have been saying the same. So let's just roll the dice and go for it now. So they've, they've gone to the court and said, take up this issue and give it expedited treatment, just as was done in United States versus Nixon. That unanimous decision essentially brought down the president and this um, uh, bids fair to do the exact same with Trump. They're basically, you know, it's a very ballsy move. I think it's the right move. What he's basically concluded is if five uh, members of the court are going to you know, intervene in the election this way and give it to Trump, we're, we're um, going to be powerless anyway. So let's push the issue and push it now. The court might not have t have taken it and just sort of let it go. But this, among other things, does it very quickly. It, moves, it says take it and take it now and give it expedited treatment. Or if you want, and this would be far the more typical um, uh, practice by the Supreme Court, if you want to wait till the Court of Appeals is done, still keep this lodged so you can immediately exercise the petition for the, the certiorari review after the uh, this, the D.C. Circuit has decided whatever it's going to um, decide. So they're like, you know, draw, going straight into the lion's den and basically um, taking on, inviting the very uh, Supreme Court oversight that has been hovering in the background as the thing that could blow the whole case out of the water. If the Supreme Court finds immunity there, in this case for of January 6th, we are at the end of the road anyway. And if it takes the case and uh, keeps it for a year while it decides, even if it goes against immunity, we're in you know, much worse shape because it blows out of the water the best um, hope for a uh, verdict before a, a jury verdict in a criminal case before November 2024. So thus this motion, I don't think people saw it coming. You can see how, you know, sort of exciting I find it. This is my, you know, Supreme Court clerk uh, background talking, but it, it is, uh, as I keep emphasizing, you know, now dovetailing completely with 
a, a huge uh, question in the nation about will Donald Trump become president tied up as that is in the question, will Donald Trump be convicted of a serious crime before November 2024? So they just, you know, parachute in, say, have at it, please, um, Supreme Court and decide it and decide it quickly. We know it's coming anyway. And if, you know, if it goes right, then we're, then that this whole most serious, maybe even singular issue that could derail the trial has been, has been decided and it's full steam ahead in Judge Chutkin's court. If they put a stay on it, take it, uh, reverse it. If, you know, Alito and Thomas and Gorsuch find, um, two others to vote for Trump, then we are ground to a halt in Bush versus Gore style. So this is the high stakes roll of the dice that the DOJ and Jack Smith, uh, really Jack Smith and his operation, uh, decided to do. It is high drama and, uh, it's to be watched more closely, as closely as anything out there. Talk to you later. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video and other Talking Feds content, please take a second to like and subscribe. Talk to you later.